All right, I gave you guys some plates to put on the corners of these just to show you how that works. I mean, one thing to talk about is that these guys are going to be buried in the walls, so you may not even put these in in a model. I just wanted to do this to show you how it was done. Um, so if you were working on a model, you could actually just put these in in detail and not actually have them in the model. It depends on the level of detail that you're working with. But just to take it another step further, let's go ahead and put some corner braces and some U braces on these guys. So I'm just going to go back to my top of plate that I've extended the, um, the work plane down the view plane so we can see. And I gave you guys this component. Um, it's actually um, a structural connection, so I'm going to go to my custom library and come down to structural connections, and we're going to do a corner first. And if I open that, this guy comes in and it wants to place it on a vertical face, it's face based. Um, I'm going to place it on the work plane and I'm going to pick the work plane of the uh, bottom of parapet. Then I'm going to tap the space bar until it kind of orients itself the way that I want it. Um, I can come down here and go to medium so we can actually see the beam. Get it back. And we'll place this guy right there. And um, let's go ahead and go to our component and let's load family and I'll do the U saddle, click open, and let's go to place on work plane again. And this guy would go here. All right, let's go to wireframe. All right, there it is. So go there. And then <clears throat> let's just go to our west elevation and take a look at those two. So here's the one I just placed, right? It's an inch low. So I'm just going to go to move and disjoin it, or oh, sorry, disjoin it, and move it up one inch, right, from there to there. Whoops, kind of got a little jittery on my pick, so move that from there. Let's get rid of the constraint, right, to there. And I'll do the same, make sure it's lined up there, it isn't quite, so let's move it from there to there, right? And it kind of depends, like we could offset that beam, the plate is kind of sitting on top of that, but you know, you can get as specific as you want. So I'm gonna move this one from there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the constraint. To there, right? Now if we go to 3D, Spin around that guy, you can see these two plates, and if you pick them, you can adjust them. So if you go to edit type, you can adjust the height. I think these are one foot two, right? So they get a little bigger. Um, I can't remember. I think that's right. Um, but it might be, it may be shorter. I don't know, but... Um, so those get bolted through, and then here's the U-plate that just sits on top of that guy. So it depends on how picky you want to get. So I just wanted to show you that, um, just in case you wanted had an idea of how that might work. Um, the other thing that you can do um, in Revit, let me go to um, hidden line here, so it's a little bit easier to see, is you can actually put structural connections in. Um, so under steel, there are connections. And I'm going to click on this little down arrow. It's going to take a minute to open up, and it's going to open up the connection settings. And it allows you to pick from a default set of connections. And I'm going to pick a base plate and add that. And click OK. So that's added into my project. These are sort of a library. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click on Connection. And it's going to say Select the things that you want to connect. So I'm going to come in and select the um, foundation and that guy and then hit enter. And it's going to give me a one and a two, right? It's going to, it controls which way the connection works. And so it's a generic connection, but I can come to this pull down up here and I can pick base plate, right? And it'll think for a minute, 
and then um, I have to first of all be in fine and then I have to, to go to my visibility graphics which oftentimes the structural connections have many things turned off so like the anchors and the bolts the holes and the plates right and if I hit apply you'll see that it places a plate between those two you can click on that and modify the parameters and update the size of the plate so you know however big how thick is it Ooh, that's pretty thick um, the base plate dimensions right so let's take that to like six inches maybe right so the plate gets bigger um, and you can adjust that I mean that's also going the extra mile um, so that's kind of up to you as well all right so that's it for those guys next time I promise we will do walls